It's drizzling out this morning. Good morning, Sylvester. Good morning, Phoebe. Sylvester? Good morning, Coke. Still sleepy yet? Come on girls, let's go. Time to go in and get milked. Come on. Hey, good morning everybody. This is Organic Dairyman and welcome, <coughs> excuse me, welcome back to my channel today. This lovely rainy day and lovely rainy day. September, Monday, September 9th day. Yes, so as you can see, I'm getting in the cows this morning. And it is very overcast and raining a little bit, just light rain. And uh, yeah, the cows are getting, getting wet out here. And we let them into this lot yesterday, you know, the day before, so that way they had some place dry somewhat dry to lay down because we're not letting them out to pasture yet we might let them out here maybe today um we got to go out and check their paddock to make sure if it's grown up enough and then we'll let them out hey daisy what do you think daisy <laughs> so yeah so what do we got going on here today well we got to do the milking here obviously this morning and then uh do the feeding and then we got to grind two batches of feed uh one for the cows one for the calves and yes and then take a nap no i'm just kidding <laughs> no um probably find something to fix here today so uh yeah there's always something to work on around here so uh yeah so that's kind of what's going to go on around here today it's whatever we could find to do to keep busy like there's not like there's nothing that there is to do to keep us busy but and uh hopefully this rain's going to let up here this afternoon or sometime but so we'll just see how the day goes and uh i'm going to get finished getting the girls in the barn and get them milked and uh Get on with the day. Okay, everybody, um, we're gonna. We just decided that we're gonna feed in the barn here today because it's, uh, well, it just keeps raining and raining and raining, and so we don't want the cows to get all wet. So 
Uh, we're just gonna feed in here, but we pulled the feeder wagon up over here because this is in the way, so we can't get under here. So we'll just feed with some wheelbarrows today. Um, that's what we're gonna do. Just uh, feed in here with the wheelbarrows today. So cows are staying in the barn. That's how it has to go today. Yum, 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 yum. Eat up, everybody. Okay. Um, we just got done. Well, we got done a little bit ago. A little bit. We got done a little bit ago feeding in the, uh, in the barn there. Got the cows fed. And it's not raining out. It's just been kind of like... The showers that just come across, come up, pop up every so often here, and uh, yeah. So anyway, right now I am gonna, in the process of getting the feeder wagon loaded up for the dry cows. Um, I just got done cutting some plastic and cleaning up some stuff and cutting some plastic with it. I'm gonna try to keep up with pl cutting the plastic on the bag, on the bag over there. So that because we're using more haylage now, so we'll probably get this that other bag used up over there probably before winter comes. And uh, more likely this year, we're probably going to have to buy some hay because we're not going to have enough hay because we're going to be down since we didn't get a fourth cutting. But uh, I guess it's the way it is. So, um. I forgot to mention earlier too, uh, we did get some, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, I can't remember, but anyways, we did get some straw loaded yesterday, it was about yesterday evening, my brother and I did it, about two thirds of a load of straw, so we got one hay rack unloaded, we still got two more to unload, and then we'll be done with the straw, we're probably going to have to buy some straw, yes, it has to be organic straw, so, <clears throat> yes, we will be buying some straw probably this winter sometime. Um, so we'll probably be short on straw and short on hay. I hate being short on hay and straw. But we should hopefully have a little more corn this year last year. I hope. We'll see what we get for corn. We should have plenty of corn silage, that's for sure. So we'll see how the rest of the day goes. My brother said he's gonna work at cow or cow mining. He's gonna work at grinding the feed for the cows. And I'm gonna keep working at the feeding. And if the rain lets up, my, um, we might finish unloading the rest of the straw. Um, my first cousin, he's gonna maybe come over and help with that maybe we'll see and then um, I guess we'll just see what it comes up I know I, I thought about doing a review on this tractor here I know somebody had requested me to do a review um, I might do one here on this video or I thought about doing a live stream and doing a review on I don't know what I'm gonna do because I haven't done a live stream for a while I was gonna do one yesterday but it just didn't work out Yeah, we'll see here. <coughs> we'll keep moving. Okay, I just uh, brought the feeder wagon up here. Park it here for now because my brother is grinding the feed for the calves right now. And I can't back this in the shed, so and I don't want to leave it run so I gotta shut it off up here so what I'm gonna do is I gotta level out the hay 
on the top of the feeder wagon there, and then I'm going to um, well, go do something else anyways, but uh, yeah, so, um, hey girl, hello, <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm going to do, and just uh, starting to rain here again, so, yep, more rain, just another, uh, another cell coming through, so, um, I don't know how long this is going to last, but, yeah. but anyways, um, I'll go find something else to do, if I'm waiting for him, I might go down and work on the tractor down there in the shed there, so, yep, keep, I'll keep busy with something here, it's like, it's like 10 to, 10 to 4 right now, so, well, I'm not sure how good you can see me in here, but, anyways, I do have my flashlight, and, um, I was going to take this thing off here, um, this pump, I forgot to get a screwdriver, oh, God, I can't get that out of there, I don't, I do not have, um, the carburetor back from this thing yet, so, but I need to get this off, because, ah, come on, you old turd, come on, there we go. I need to get this thing off because it's seal is leaking. I don't know. My guy's gonna have to take the thing apart, but I'm probably going to have to take that thing out. I don't know. I'm afraid I could put that other one that I have in the shed on here, but those seals are probably dry. But how does a guy even get this thing off? There's a um... huh. Well, I guess. I'll have to wait here for a little bit because my brother, he's just coming back. He's just getting in grinding feet. And I thought, I'm going to try to find something to do in the meantime while I'm waiting for him. But, um, uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to look at this a little bit. I'm going to have to look at it a little bit closer here and see if I can um, figure out how to get that thing off. But uh, it shouldn't be too hard to get it off. But anyways, that's what I was doing. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. So... Okay, um, I got the pump off and cleaned up as best as I could get it cleaned up. And I don't know how both seals look like they need to be replaced. This one here 
and I'll say this one here but I don't know how I'm supposed to get that one out of there I don't know if this thing I think this thing might come and screw off but I'm probably gonna have to take the pump apart I don't want to but I didn't this must have been an aftermarket deal that John Deere made it had to have been an aftermarket deal that stays put put you down here then because if you look I don't know if you can see that but it says John Deere it says ah, can you see that? yeah it's right there it says JD right there so this must have been an aftermarket deal at John Deere come up with these pumps that's my guess anyways and this one like I say I got this one from my uncle he must have had this on a something here one time too but I don't know what but I'm sure these seals are probably dried up so I might as well just fix that one up I don't know which pump has more power you know maybe this one's wore out more but it, it shouldn't be it should be fine but um yeah so anyways um I'll have to get this apart and see what I can um I mean the seals I should be able to get those if I get, get the part number off them before I destroy them I should be able to get them probably at the auto parts store and that'd be good so anyways yeah so I'll see here if I work at getting this off here I might I'll see maybe I'll get this off here yet today I'll see Hey guys, um, well, I just quit working on that uh, oil pump there for now, and um, I'm not sure if we're going to unload straw yet, but we might, but anyways, I just kind of wanted to quick, do a quick look at the corn here, um, I got to grab a bite to eat here, but first before I do that, um, I'm just out in front of my house here, <coughs> excuse me, and so um, we're going to look at the uh, corn, let's just go in. Boy, I don't know. Let's just try this one. Kind of hard to do this one-handed. But if we can get it here, see where this where the corn is at. The mosquitoes are eating me alive. Yeah, that's where this is. So it's got a little ways to go yet. It's got to be to the dent stage before we can chop it. So. Like I say, this field here we could have used, um, let me get out of here. We probably could have used at least another um, ton to the acre of compost on here. We should have put more compost on it, but we didn't. Let's see, what does this one look like? Let's see. There. there, if you can see that one there. So it's probably got about another couple weeks to go yet. So yeah. So I'm gonna grab a bite to eat, but I thought I'd just quick show you the corn here, um, and then we'll see if we get some um, straw unloaded yet. Okay, everybody, um, we're done with everything. Done with all the chores. But, uh, we actually had to feed in the barn again, and then. Um, we got the cows milked, so here it is, just a little bit after 1 o'clock in the morning. We're all done. Would have been done sooner if I hadn't had to feed in the barn. So, yeah, we got to leave the cows and it's more work.
but yeah. So anyways, yes. Um, I'm just actually recording this last video on my phone because of my GoPro here. Um, it's so humid out right now that it just wants to fog up inside the case. So that's all you'd see. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. Just finishing this video up on my phone because it's just like I say, it's so, so much moisture in the air. I'm at least glad my phone camera isn't fogging up. I'm surprised it ain't, but uh, it just there's it's just so darn humid. I don't even know what the humidity is. Um, yeah, I thought I, that thing up there is supposed to. It doesn't say what it is up there on the wall. There's supposed to be something hanging up there that tells what it is. But um, yeah, so um, I did. Um, I did not. Did not get this uh, pump apart here. I um, I tried, whoops, um, to get it apart. I just sprayed some uh, PB blaster on it, and I don't know. I I gotta try to get this thing apart here somehow. I'm gonna have to try and push. I'm gonna try to put a bolt, I think, between here and there, and push down on it and push it apart because. I don't want to take, I could, I could take a screwdriver or something and if my camera will focus on it here, come on, focus. There we are. If I could get something, you know, wedged in there, which I don't want to do because the tolerances of these things have to fit together so tight that if I try to do that and I create a little bit of a, uh, what's the word, a burr or something on it. That it won't fit back together tight and the pump will leak these gear pumps have to fit the you know the talent tolerances are very tight on them and if i don't do it right it's not gonna um why don't you focus camera and then so i gotta do it right so i'm gonna work at that tomorrow well it is tomorrow but um yep so that's what i'm gonna do so we're gonna hopefully get that straw unloaded sometime in the afternoon so yeah so anyways we'll see how it goes how the how things go in the morning and the rest of the day so so that's it guys i'm gonna it for today's video and i just want to say thank you for everybody that joined in on the live stream today i apologize that i didn't announce it sooner but it's just kind of a spare in the moment i just i didn't know if it was going to work out to do it it's so hard to say is I'm gonna do a live stream and such such time. It's always just I never know what's gonna be going on throughout the day. And but yeah, I apologize if it's the spare of the moment. And um but thank you to everybody that uh joined in on it and I apologize for those of you that missed it. Hopefully one of these times you'll catch me if you if you haven't caught me doing a live stream, but yeah. So, anyways, I gotta. I'm gonna go hit the hay sack and uh, get my Z's and uh, see how everything goes. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman. And uh, yes, and thanks to everybody that's hit that subscribe button. And please make sure you hit that like button because I don't know. When you hit that like button, it just helps um, my videos show up. And it just helps, it helps get me more subscribers. That's all I know. So make sure to do that. And please check out all my other videos and share this video with a friend or family member. And uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. And I forgot to, um, or during the rest of the day. And uh, we did get an inch and a half of rain since yesterday. So that's what we got for rain. So... Anyways, guys, take care, have a good night, and I'll catch you later. Boy, there's a big thunder, thunder head to the northwest of here.